Hello friends of Golf Course Quality Fertilizer. Well, I've been getting several questions this spring about some weeds that are popping up in landscape beds and, and in some cases in the lawn as well. Um, and they're like, oh, okay, do I spray these things? Should I be putting down the first app? Well, the weeds that we're seeing are winter annual weeds. A lot of them are. Now we are seeing just recently like some dandelions are pos popping up and some clover is starting to show its face. And we'll talk about those things too. And both of these are not a signal that you need to put down your fertilizer. That's really important. Timing is everything when it comes to turf, especially if you want to take and make your life easy. If you do it on the right time, life is so much easier, right? And so, you know, we don't want to put the fertilizer down too early, even though you see guys running around all over the place throwing fertilizer. It's warm outside. We're mowing the grass. We feel like we should be throwing fertilizer. But we did a winterizer for a reason, to gain up all this energy and have it ready to explode in the spring. So here in about a week, when things really kick on, you're gonna be happy you didn't put your fertilizer down yet because it's gonna be growing like crazy, okay? And so have some patience on that. Timing is important as far as when we get that fertilizer down. We're getting really close. I'm gonna actually turn the green light on on April 20th, uh, and then that'll go until about May 7th. It's about a two to three week window you'll have to put down that fertilizer. You'll want to mow your lawn at least three or four, sometimes five times before you get that first one down. We want to make sure we don't get it down too early because we're going through what I call that spring flush where it's growing really fast. And if we get it down too early, we're actually going to use up all that carbohydrate storage, the big fat roots we gained last fall in the ground that'll help us through the summer. If we throw fertilizer down too early, it'll increase that growth period. They'll use up too many carbohydrates and you have skinnier roots going into the winter or the summertime. So, I mean, at least, you know, it's not gonna die, but we wanna make it as strong as possible when we come into the summertime so that watering is gonna be easier, it's gonna be a thicker, healthier turf, keeping weeds out, things like that. And so timing's everything, so have some patience. Uh, I'm anxious. I want to start doing stuff too. Uh, that's for sure. So let's talk about these winter annual weeds that a lot of people are seeing. Uh, one of them right here, it's called henbit. There's other names for it too. If you're looking things up, uh, you might call it, you might hear it called dead nettle and things like that. But, but this is called henbit. It's a winter annual. Uh, it can be in your yard as well. It's definitely in a lot of people's landscaping. This has really exploded this year. And so um, how you can tell that something's a weed, especially if you just moved into a place and you don't really know, is these guys will pull up really easy. They have not much of a root, right? And so annuals tend to have these wimpy roots, and even if you don't get the whole root, it'll die, right? And so what we want to do to prevent these guys is it's good to have some mulch. You know, I need to do some more mulch. My mulch is running out. Uh, and then we do a preventer, and we have to do that in the fall in order to keep these guys from coming up. And so otherwise, they'll come up no matter what, they're actually going to die by themselves here really soon. They're going to die when it gets too hot, and then next year you'll see them again, right? And you'll unless you put down a prevent. Now here's another one. This is called Shepherd's Purse. A lot of people are seeing this in the yard. This guy's a little stinker. Once again, it pulls up really easy. Not much of a root, right? Got this little white flower. Almost looks like a dandelion at the base, especially after you cut the top off. When you mowed and the top is gone, you won't even realize it's even there very much anymore. And this guy, once again. Winter annual, he's gonna die. Now I know you guys aren't gonna be able to tell what's a winter annual and all these different types of weeds, uh, but send me a picture and I'll help guide you through those situations uh, and then we can talk about how we can prevent them next year, right? So this is a shepherd's purse, winter annual, all right? Another thing that we're seeing a lot of, uh, not in my yard, but a lot of tree saplings as well. So. We had another mild winter, and guess what? Lots of tree saplings have survived again, and so they're gonna grow up in the yard, all over the place. You know, mow them down. Remember I talked early in this one video, uh, the one I did first this year, I talked about lowering that height. Well, we're at the tail end where you can sneak in a lower height, so please get out there and kind of get it chomped down, especially if you have the saplings. That way you'll cut them down, lower than your turf and then your turf will grow and those guys are going to disappear they can't handle getting mowed you can't mow over trees all the time in some cases i have to spray to kind of speed up the process there's another one called chickweed let's see if we can find some chickweed okay right over here right next to some shepherd's purse 
And a lot of people are seeing this. It's growing low in their yard, especially if your yard's a little thin. You'll see this weed here growing low and bright green in the yard. Another winter annual. Now the chickweed hangs around a lot longer. It'll be here until middle of summer. We can speed up the process of, of its desiccation by putting down a weed killer, right? Or something like that, liquid. Um, but I, I just really, I don't worry about them too much unless they're really obtuse and ugly. I won't spray them because I know they're gonna die. And chickweed's a tougher one. It has a better survival rate uh, than all these other guys like this shepherd's purse, right? <clears throat> and so, uh, don't worry about these too much, winter annuals, uh, and then the summer will come along and those all start to disappear and your yard will look great. Uh, as far as spraying our broadleaf weeds, like our dandelions and our clovers, uh, you can start spraying those now, right, uh, before we actually put our first furt down, but make sure that it's a warm, sunny, dry day. And in this time period where we're still cool, having really cool nights, Everything's gonna die slower. So Roundup works a lot slower. All these broadleaf weed killers work a lot slower. And so have patience, they will die. Uh, but you know, give them a good spray. If you've got little spot spray cans I got you for your package, you can walk around and hit the Dane lines before they really show up ugly. Uh, and then call me for any questions uh, and let's get ready for a great season. Thanks for listening.